a story of reality. I mean, what is life like for the veteran when the war has left him? I mean, we're talking about what happens to people that get left behind in this movie. There's remembrance for those who have served and those who have fallen, but it's also a celebration, and it's a thank you for the families. I'm a Cuban American who came to this country with his mother fleeing a communist country. My mother raised her children to, to love America and to respect this country for having given us uh, a shot. You're cutting off your nose to spite your face. Did you look at these faces? They've already been spited. Every film that you see where the uh, where it is, you know, the battles or and you, and you see these deaths, you see the loss. This part of the, the, the film always kind of is right at the end, right? You see the family that receives the flag and, and then that's kind of when the credits roll. With all due respect, sir, he deserves to lie at Arlington. I'm taking Larry home. So I want to thank you for projecting the, the military to my call on a positive note. This is my challenge coin. And I give it out to honor my friends I grew up with, the Marines I served with, and the corpsmen I served with, who were killed in Vietnam and didn't come home. To me, the thing is, like, that freedom to, to choose either way and not have somebody saying this is the way it should be is what it's all about to me. And that's what that, that, that moment with the flag is like, hey, man, this is everybody's flag. I just came back from a USO tour in, in Germany and in Great Britain, and I'm very happy to say that I think we're in, we're in good hands, the military is strong, and the service they provide is second to none. And I, I'm, I'm, I came away so proud to be an American.